What's up my crypto legends? Is the Bitcoin price going to hold that $59,000 major support level? Are we going to just have a little bit of volatility and continue to the upside? Are we going to break it and come to 54k, 53k? I see a lot of people now expecting for that major correction. Now you know the deal, when a lot of people are expecting something, it might not come. So we might just consolidate here sideways and then continue to the upside. We're going to talk about these scenarios here for the BTC price today. Also, we take a look at Ethereum. I see a very, very good buy zone for Ethereum. If we do reach these levels around over here, and I'll explain why in this episode, the total crypto market cap very, very near to this major support of the $2.4 trillion, which in my opinion is going to be a great buying opportunity. We will also take a look at this chart here, comparison from 2017 and 2021. Shout out to Tech Dev here on Twitter because there are insane similar here from 2017 and 2021 indicating that the bull run is not finished just yet so make sure to stay tuned let's dive in Hello there, Andy here. Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Bitcoin Census. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Daily CI on Bitcoin, crypto, also do a live stream to connect with the community. You're not financial advisor, don't buy or sell anything that I say. Now, listen, guys, looking very, very good here, Bitcoin. It's defending very, very well that $59,000 range. Now, I see a lot of YouTubers, a lot of analysts now talking about, you know, uh, this dip is maybe going to continue to the downside. We may be going to hit that $53,000, $54,000 area. A lot of people are talking about this range right now and you know the deal when a lot of people talk about this range maybe it's unlikely that we are going to hit those levels so you know like i said in many videos 59k range and this is plus minus a thousand dollars because of the volatility we might even dip below 54 uh, sorry fifty eight thousand dollars and just see a couple of those wicks okay before we might continue to the upside now fifty three fifty four thousand dollars yes it is in the cards we've got an insane major resistance and support level here that we've been bouncing before in the past and if i take here the vpvr like uh, like you know guys one of my favorite indicators here to find out about different support and resistance levels you can see here on the vpvr we've got a huge mountain that starts from fifty three thousand dollars all the way up here to around about that 5960k level where we're currently bouncing right now as you can see here on the chart if i get closer you can clearly see that there's a major major level here where we are keep bouncing as you can see here on the chart now if we do come all the way down here to 53 i do expect the very end of this mountain to hold very very nicely we also got here this major resistance it would be around about that 50 percent fibonacci level from the low to the high levels here but a lot of people already expecting this range i wouldn't be surprised that now here being very close to the all-time highs we are just going to consolidate uh, above and below the all-time highs consistently before we continue to the upside because if you reach all-time highs and you do have a major correction start creating a lower high then it's not going to be looking very very good you know this this might be a double top and you're going to continue to the upside but if you to the downside sorry but if you do consolidate where the all-time high is this is in my opinion a clear reaccumulation event and i'm not too scared about the btc price you know dropping to that um low 50k levels all right so uh if it does happen that would be a great buy zone in my opinion guys it was just uh, it will only be a healthy retracement from this massive pump that we've had okay instead of going sideways and continue to the upside we might see you know that potential correction to these levels bottom out at some point and then continue up okay this would be the structure that would be creating so they're both bullish scenarios sideways 59k level is going to hold you might just see some volatility to the downside 58 57 thousand dollars couple of weeks get people scared and then continue to the upside but if that uh, major level lo we lose that major level then we are going to hit potentially that 54 53 thousand dollars which would be a great buying zone like i said guys as you can see here on the vpvr zooming in Remember, back in the summer, we did see this huge mountain. The last bit of that mountain was holding very, very nicely. As you can see, that 30K range, all right? We had a huge mountain. The very end of the mountain was holding as support. So I'm expecting if we do lose this 59K range, the end of this mountain, which is exactly at that 53, $54,000 range, should be holding also very, very nicely. We've got this resistance and then continue to the upside, okay? Now, you know, no more talking about 
this because I've said it quite a few times to be pretty, pretty clear. Remember for experienced traders, Femex has got up to $4,100 worth of bonus with my link in the description and Prime XBT 50% added to your deposit by using my link and promo code BitcoinCensus50. Now, Ethereum, what we got for Ethereum? Ethereum is looking okay. This is, you know, it's just a typical correction when you have a massive uptrend like this, uptrend channel, we just broke out of it, all right? We met the target, which is the width of the channel. We're slightly below the actual target. Now, what can we expect? Now, there is a possibility, you know, if we do see that volatility on Bitcoin a little bit to the downside, maybe Ethereum is gonna get hit a little bit harder. You know, Ethereum and altcoins do get a little bit hit a little bit harder than Bitcoin. So what we could see right over here is a little bit of a relief rally and then a little dump here to that $4,000 range where I do think we should be getting an insane bounce all depending on when this is gonna happen because it could happen in the next two days and we could come even as low as 3,800 because we've got this insane support, you know, this resistance from these lower highs, you know, the trend line, as you can see, we've gone also got this massive uptrend from these higher lows. So you can see that this cross is right over here and this is round about that 29th, 30th of November, just about, you know, 10, 13 days away from now. So if we do have that relief rally, and then in the next coming days, we do have the next dump, this would be a kind of an ABC correction, right? If this happens and we are trading in between $3,800 and $4,000 in the next coming days, it is gonna be an insane buying opportunity, something very, very similar to what happened over here, a dip, consolidation, relief rally, another dip, you consolidate, you find the bottom, finally at that ABC correction before we continue to the upside, guys. So this is something that you need to pay attention, all right? If you're not buying in already at these levels and you wanna, you know, potentially find another dip that might come, okay, after a relief rally, then that would be an insane buying opportunity, guys. We are getting supported by these lower highs, as you can see. And this is also a cup and handle, remember, that we've been mentioning on the other videos. And we've got also these higher lows, major trend line that should be acting as a very, very strong support, guys. So that is a great buying opportunity, in my opinion. Let's take a quick look at the total crypto market cap. Nothing has changed here just too much. Just having that nice correction, that nice dip that we had yesterday. So what could happen here also is that kind of relief rally, you know, that kind of ABC correction. Something similar here on the total crypto market cap that happened right over there here on this handle of this cup and handle. So we're just gonna be retesting that major support. And guys, this is if, if we do not have a V-shaped recovery from this point. Now that would be the best case uh, scenario here to buy in cheaper coins such as Bitcoin and other altcoins, all right? If we do have that relief rally and then that second dip being an ABC correction, retesting the resistance of the cup and handle, turning it into heavy support and also the higher lows here from this, uh, you know, massive structure, this support trend line, as you can see, should be getting an insane bounce in between that 2.4 and 2.5 trillion dollars here at the total crypto market cap. Now, this is a chart that I want to show you here on Twitter. Shout out to him, Tech Dev, okay, on Twitter. He's showing some differences that there is in 2017 and 2021 with the RSI, okay. The RSI, as you can see, at overbought territory back in October, November. As you can see here, something very, very similar is happening right over here, even though there is more bearish divergence in this case. But as you can see, you know, when we hit the oversold territory in the RSI back in July, um, here, uh, as you can see, July 17th, a very, very similar dip that we had back in July of 2017, very similar one that we had here also in 2021. On the 20th of July, you know, in the RSI almost hitting that oversold territory, we did have that rally going to overbought territory. And you know, we connected this trend line here and you can see that the RSI is moving very, very similar now in November, okay? The 12th of November, uh, Bitcoin on 2017 had a pretty hard dip, as you can see, going um, from the overbought territory just to the middle part area, to the 42.7 area. Now we're hitting 42.6 area, going below this yellow trend line here, as he's put here on the chart. So overall, looking very, very similar. What happened after this major dip in November? It had a massive rally, okay, going above the trend line and then going to overbought territory back in December, going much higher from these highs on the RSI. So we could be expecting that for BTC, maybe in December, it might be take a, a month more or two, but I think so that we should be reaching that 100K levels or getting very, very close to it, you know, by the end 
of the year just by looking you know at these kind of similarities and also there's very good on-chain data guys that i'm not going to pull out right now on the charts guys thank you for joining in make sure to check out bitcoin sensors website we've got the latest news and technical analysis here if you want to see my bybit and my prime xbt tutorial to learn how to trade on those platforms video on the screen guys see you later